morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I hope you're fired up about what's going on in gold. If you bought on the dip last week, you've made some money. Uh, gold is trading off 1618, 1619 this morning. Of course, a record. Large part of that is a fear trade. We think a significant part of it is supply and demand. The South African government has nationalized the gold mine. Now, needless to say, that nationalization, which occurred about six months ago, has been a debacle. The people in the neighborhood are even outraged because they've lost jobs. They've lost several hundred jobs um, because the government is surprisingly unable to operate at the same level. Pardon me. <clears throat> the government is unable to operate at the same level <clears throat> that private industry was. Now, <clears throat> this rational, this nationalization, of course, has had the chilling effect on some of the major miners that they are withdrawing or decreasing their commitments to invest in South Africa. Surprise, surprise. Now, this is taken together with the fact that wages are going up in South Africa. They're having to dig deeper to get less quality ore and that electricity prices are going up on average 24% uh, for the next couple of years, 24% per year for the next two years. And this gives quite a, uh, quite a good understanding of why there are dangers to supply worldwide. A number of people have also pointed out, very, very clever people, that means people that I agree with, um, that there are no new gold mining prospects over the next, uh, that is heading into 2015 or 2016. So we have a situation where a substantial source of supply is in danger and is declining. Uh, and of course, if South Africa were to really develop a path of rationalizing, excuse me, nationalizing mines, it would have a chilling effect throughout at least sub-Saharan Africa in, in all aspects of mining. So, um, as we look out at uh, gold today, we want you to keep in mind that it's a supply and demand market. Supply is decreasing, demand is increasing. We're heading into the East Indian uh, wedding season. The Chinese people who have money are getting more and more afraid of instability. We're talking about the Hu Ku system tomorrow um, uh, of creating a, that the Chinese government uses to create a permanent underclass. Uh, and, and so the Chinese uh, uh, more successful people are continuing to be big buyers of gold. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Uh, and let's remember the U.S. Congress might yet screw up. There might not be a debt ceiling uh, increase. This is Arnie Waters. Keep alert. Thanks. Have a great day.